Hey there everybody, today is warm and by warm I mean it's 27 degrees. So I'm gonna take advantage of this quote unquote warm weather and do some more product testing. Uh, this week I'm gonna be reviewing a Surly Wednesday. I reached out to the folks at Surly and they didn't quite reply. So uh, I borrowed my friend's bike. So this is uh, my friend Toffer's Surly Wednesday. It is not stock, but I thought I'd give it a spin and tell you guys what I think about it. Another thing I'm gonna be messing around with today are these Neos overshoes so they're like boots that you put on your boots as many of you know i have a lot of problems with keeping my feet warm so i'm really hoping that this is going to work so uh let's see how this stuff does So a couple things. It's kind of sad when you start to think 27 degrees is warm. Number two, I completely acknowledge that this bike doesn't fit me uh, perfectly, let's say. I should probably be on a small. And these Nitto Bull Moose uh, handlebars are, have kind of a longish stem area. I, I think the equivalent of about 90 millimeter. So I'm a little bit stretched out. So it's definitely gonna affect the handling of the bike. Third thing, I'm really becoming aware of the different types of snow and how it affects handling. Today I'd say, uh, since it is kind of warmish, like the snow is the consistency of mashed potatoes, which makes it kind of challenging because it's not quite hard to pack, uh, but it's not quite soft enough to just plow through. So you do hit lumps and you, you get kind of pushed around uh, on the snow. In terms of the feet, uh, it's a little bit too early to tell. I think I've been out for about 20 minutes. Um, it's usually around that hour mark where uh, my toes start to freeze. So I'm gonna kind of ride till then and see what happens. But uh, so far so good. I'm at the uh, main rattlesnake trailhead. I'm about 40 minutes into the ride. My feet still feel fairly warm, so I think I'm gonna go up to the top and ride Ewok Trail. So the bike is super fun to ride. I do feel like compared to the Woe, and in particular this kind of like longer front end setup, it's not as nimble in the front, but uh, still pretty fun. So let's go up to the trail. it to the trailhead we're about an hour in and so far so good in terms of the feet I'm starting to be able to feel the toes just a bit but it's cool and not cold uh, usually by this point um, it's starting to get questionable but again it is quote unquote warm at 27 degrees so who knows so I'm gonna hop on the trail pedal down looks really soft and mushy so we'll see how the bike does so slushy Jeez. Oh, it's hard to get straight. Fuck. Oh, that was exciting. Right, so we made it to the end of the trail. It was pretty fun. So whenever the front wheel would catch the edge of the trail, it would just kind of toss me over. And uh, my feet are still reasonably warm. So uh, this Neos could be a winner. I feel like I could probably go on for another hour or so, which would be uh, pretty awesome. But then again, it is quote unquote warm, 27 degrees. So who knows how this would be in uh, colder temperatures, but so far so good. Uh, look for the full review of the Surly Wednesday and the uh, Neos overshoes I'm using today next week. I'm going to go out for a couple more rides, get a sense of the bike and uh, the overboots, and share it with you guys. If you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.